Hey, Steve Veronica Kibler here, and today we are experiencing the Rod Run. And as you can hear that car that just went by, <laughs> and we're at the diner. Like, what better place to go to on a Rod Run day than a diner? So, join us for lunch. All right, we just left the Rod Run at the LeConte Center in Pigeon Forge, and we're going up the road here. We're going to go to the Sunliner Diner in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So there is plenty of parking um, in this area here. So as you can see, we have a lot of visitors coming in. So the diner is very busy on, on this Thursday afternoon due to the Rod Run. But not to worry folks, um, come in here and there's parking all around the building and there's plenty more on the right side as we make our way in here. There's more parking on the right side. Uh, we saw a couple of people circling the building trying to find a spot, but um, if we just move over to the right, then there's more parking. But yeah. we found one right here, right in the back. There's plenty of parking. It's mm -hmm. really good. Now it's on the corner of Henderson Chapel Road and the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Mm -hmm. And they have seating outside as well um, for if you know if you need to wait for a little bit, if you want to be seated in one of the cars that they have inside the restaurant, then you might have a little bit of a wait. Um, and there's seating outside and inside for that wait. Otherwise, they have plenty of. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're space. right here at, at noon, and we got, you see some people waiting there, but I think they may have been waiting to sit in one of the cars, because uh, we got yeah. a table right away. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they had lots of open space at the counter, too, so mm -hmm. a true diner. True diner. Mm -hmm. yeah. To all who have put their lives on the line in defense of this flag, so this yeah, is... The fun. Marines simplify. So this is nice. Yeah. that they have this at the front and they're hiring <laughs> yeah a lot of places are hiring around here folks so yes if you're looking for a job you know you can come to the Sevier County area and find a job fairly easy yes and they they play now it is kind of loud in here they played um, the 1950s 60s music yes it's super festive, yeah. so it really takes you back you know, it's, to that era. It's loud, but it's, I mean, for me anyway, because I love this style of music, it's mm -hmm. its pleasant. It's not mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. oh, I can't stand being in here loud. You know, it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it uh, made me want to get up and start dancing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listening I mean, to all the, all the really cool music from the 1950s and 60s. Yeah. But it isn't a place where you can go in and you know have a nice quiet meal it's not that type of place no and this is their menu and it looks they have it like in the format of a newspaper yeah a thing of the past right yeah. the newspapers and they have some fun facts on the front of it yeah they had all kinds of neat stuff in there so some some things you can read some trivia some 1950s slang mm -hmm. uh, while you're waiting for your meal to come out so we had fun lo looking through the newspaper slash menu. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. offer breakfast, so we're gonna come back for breakfast. Yeah, we'll be back for breakfast. Mm -hmm. We want to try their I breakfast. I guess that's a uh, a spoiler. We will be back. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind early spoiler alerts as yeah. long as it's not on uh, regarding a movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't spoil the movie yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's definitely a. A restaurant worth uh, revisiting. I really, really felt like I was like I stepped back into time when we walked into this restaurant and was listening to the beautiful 1950s rock and roll music, 1960s music, mm -hmm. and then especially when they gave us these menus. I was yeah. Like, oh my goodness! Look at this. This yeah. is like the the newspapers. I remember, you know, every night that. Uh, you know, my dad would read the newspaper sitting in his his chair. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a daily thing for him. And now we get our. Uh, now we look at. Now the, we get our information from our cell phones. Yeah. 
So Elsie, our granddaughter, if you're watching this video, this is how we used to get information back yeah. in the day. Reading a newspaper. Through the newspapers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up ordering the fish and chips and you went with the... I got a classic hamburger. Yes, you did. I thought that, you know, we're in a diner, you know, we're at a car show, you know, I think of cars going up to uh, drive-ins and stuff and you get in the hamburger. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I was in the mood for a hamburger. Yes, but they have a lot of good choices on here, a lot of different types of oh, yeah. hamburgers. Uh, the one with the avocado, that looked good to me. I might order that one of these days. Yeah. Yes. The only reason why I didn't order that is because I was trying to stay true to the 50s thing. <laughs> I never even heard of avocado till in the, you know, probably late 70s or... And that's funny so, that you say that because yeah. I grew up eating avocados yeah. in California okay, yeah, in the 70s. Different, yeah. different cultures, different... Different cultures. Grew up in different things. Different you know? regions, yeah, yes. And they have these wonderful yeah. milkshakes, um, banana splits, sundaes. So, oh my goodness. And the area we were seated at had um, like an overhead l lighting uh, mm -hmm. that was pink. Oh. So that's why you're seeing these shades of pink throughout the video. So I thought that was kind of nice. I like mm -hmm. the color pink. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They had some type of a party um, offer there that was like 49 something. Like if you want to have a birthday party there for your kids, I think. Oh. That's what okay. that was there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess you were paying more attention than I was. <laughs> and they have adult beverages as well. Yeah. They have Irish cream coffee. Yeah. They have banana splits. Mm -hmm. They have wine and beer and cakes and pies. Mm. We'll have to try some well, apple a, pie. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll have to try some apple pie next time we're there. Mm-hmm. I was so focused on like a banana split that that's what I wanted to have. <laughs> and here are some more facts. Fun fact, a dollar in 1950 is equal to 1267 in 2024. Yeah, I mean, it's funny how, you know, we talk about our wages and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, they only made a dollar or something an hour back then, maybe. And now, you know, you might make a lot more than that, but it's... Inflation has... Yeah. I mean, you're not you really know, making that much more money. Impacted the, you know, the prices mm -hmm. on everything. Everything's gone up. Mm -hmm. And then on this one, um, it said that the Pigeon Forge became Sevier County's third city Tuesday by a margin of eight votes. And that was in April, April 4th, 1961. Pigeon Forge voted in to be a city. So here's money and inflation in the 1950s. The average income per year was 3,210 and by 1959 was 5,010. A new house cost $8,450. Um, let's see, a gallon of gas was 18 cents. And I remember these shows. I used to watch I Love Lucy. <laughs> and I used to watch the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. Um, but no, they were reruns by the time I was starting to watch them. Mm -hmm. And you remember know, the Twilight, Twilight Zone? Zone? Oh, yeah. I do remember the Twilight Zone. Yeah, definitely made and you some, think. Some cool slang, like a cat is a hip person. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Party pooper, yeah. no yeah. fun at all. And uh, Ras my berries means excite yeah. me. Cloud nine, really happy. Yeah, well, you're a real cool cat. Yeah. Go ape, get very excited. I remember some of these slang mm -hmm. words uh, growing up. Then the sports, 1950 sports. Wow, New York Yankees became the first team in baseball history to win five consecutive World Series. 1953. Yeah, I guess I didn't pay attention to that. Oh, 1953, that's the year my mom and dad oh. got married. Oh, that's neat. Now they did let us bring these menus home. Yep. So they, it's like a little souvenir you can take home with you if you mm -hmm. if you're visiting this area. You can keep mm -hmm. your uh, new menu. Yeah. Just, I mean, I think it's a really neat restaurant. You know, and, I mm -hmm. would say it's clean. It was clean. It's very clean. You know. Yes, and the service was good. So we're, you know, you come in and for us, we didn't. I mean, they were serving tables pretty quickly. We didn't have a very long wait at all. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I, I like that they also have that other area of merchandise so more souvenirs people can take home with them mm-hmm. or buy and take home if you're again a visitor in this area mm-hmm. yeah I definitely say if you're visiting uh, the Pigeon Forge area that this is a restaurant that's uh, I would put on my bucket list of places to stop and eat mm-hmm. and here are my my uh, fish and chips and it is my my fish is the uh, north atlantic cod and here's these classic burger yeah. and but, we got um, french fries and that m- my burger my fish and chips are beard batter fried north atlantic cod with fried pickles and french fries and i could smell that delicious fish fry as we were walking in the restaurant because cod is a stronger smelling fish but it's, it was fresh. But it's still good smelling. It was fish, fresh. not a nasty smell. No, it didn't smell old or anything like yeah. that. It was just, oh my goodness, mm. the minute I smell that delicious fish, I'm like, ah, okay, they got fish. I'm going to have to check that out. And mm-hmm. and this is what it is. Oh my goodness, it was nice and flaky and hot. And the beard batter, they, they fry that in, was crispy and flavorful. It was delicious. Mm-hmm. And it's they give you two nice big pieces of that um, cod. Mm-hmm. I was impressed that you got the fried pickles with it too. That you know mm-hmm. you don't see that much. No, you don't see that that, that often. And our mm-hmm. daughter Jessica likes fried pickles. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> so she I think this is something she would pickles. she would totally enjoy. Mm-hmm. They were crispy mm-hmm. and tangy. You know, you get that tangy flavor of the yeah. pickle, that vinegary flavor. You know, I was real close to ordering uh, fried pickles as an mm-hmm. appetizer, so I'm glad you got them. Yeah, so I was trying to sh- show what that looked like, and it totally came apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the fries were nice and crispy and hot. Oh, yeah, hot. the fries were good. Yeah, so my, my fish was really nice mm-hmm. and hot. I, I, that was nice. And um, I had to make sure I didn't burn myself when I took a bite into it. And the fries were um, lightly salted and crispy. And they had a good flavor. Whatever oil they're frying their fries in was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I like malt vinegar with my fish or fresh lemon. I go either way. And uh, oh my goodness, that just takes that. Takes that yeah. fish to a whole next level it's just yeah. so delicious now i know they gave you some tartar sauce but you don't usually use it i'm not a thing. tartar sauce person yeah. now so. here's my hamburger i got a single patty it's called i think it was the classic uh, mm-hmm. burger and it came with uh, pickles onions tomato lettuce and i got uh, cheddar cheese which was a one dollar upgrade to mm-hmm. add the cheese that's mm-hmm. a, a grilled bun as you can see there nice and grilled mm-hmm. buttered so grilled put, brioche bun yeah. and uh you know i went ahead and uh added some ketchup and mustard because it, it didn't come with any ketchup or mustard on it no condiments on it you know and that's fine i you know let you let the customer pick what they want to put on their burgers mm-hmm. and, and it uh it was good. I think I also seen some uh, mayonnaise on the table, little packets of mayonnaise if you wanted to add mayonnaise. But this burger was pretty good. I mean, uh, uh, there was nothing wrong with the burger. It was a delicious burger. I, does it stand up to a place like Gray's Burger or you know other glam type burger? I don't know about that. But this was a very good diner burger. I'll tell you that. Well, it's not a glam burger. This you is know, a diner burger, yeah. so it's different. Yeah. And it's going to be a different price, too. Exactly. It's going to be less than a glam mm-hmm. burger. Yeah. So you, I wouldn't compare those. I, I, this is exactly what I was expecting at a diner, mm-hmm. and it looked like it was really good when yeah, we were eating I, it. You know, I'm, I'm not, my point is I'm not disappointed. It's a good burger, and it's what I was craving when I walked into a diner like this. Mm-hmm. And it's a really nice size burger mm-hmm. you, you were oh, full yeah. i mean oh yeah i yeah. in fact i don't even think i ate any dinner you later. didn't yeah you didn't finish your fries we brought those home yeah. and um and we didn't have dinner because we were pretty pretty full pretty full yeah 
but this is of course what, I had this dessert. This is what also. did it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it did us in. Yeah, this is. The, yeah, I don't normally eat a dessert. The and, banana uh, split. But it oh. was just. It sounded good. It oh. looked good, and it did taste good. <laughs> We're like, listen. I, I was. I saved some of my fish because I was like, I want to have. I want to have a banana split. I love yeah, banana splits. I didn't eat all my fries because I wanted to <laughs> eat this. Uh, <laughs> So this this came with the strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream with um, strawberries, pineapple, and um, chocolate fudge, whipped cream, chopped peanuts, and cherries. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this was delicious. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I love fruit with my ice cream. Because then I don't feel as guilty. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> Just eating the ice cream. <laughs> you know, the banana kind of, you know, makes up for the uh, other sugars. And, and, you know, banana has a lot of potassium in it. So yeah. we did a lot of walking earlier in the day. And mm -hmm. when you get a little bit dehydrated, you know, you can your legs can start cramping. So mm -hmm. they say potassium is good. And, of course, drink more water. Um, so I like having uh, bananas often mm -hmm. when we're doing a lot of walking. Yes. You know, the, not to get too into, you know, health stuff, but, uh, you know, when you have a banana or something like that, there's fibers and stuff like that in a banana. Yeah, the bananas may have the sugar in them, but it's a better sugar. It's a natural, it's, natural yeah. fruit. Has in the, it has you get the benefit from the fiber. And yes, you don't, it hasn't been else. modified yeah. a lot. So it's, in my opinion, I think yeah. it's healthy. And every once in a while, you know, it doesn't hurt to have, a, in my opinion, ice cream or something like that. <laughs> I don't eat, you know, that many sweets, but... And you can, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't eat ice cream every single day, but yeah. like when I do have it like this, mm -hmm. at least I'm getting my fruit, I'm getting those fr those delicious frozen strawberries Again, and the pineapple. We did a lot of walking at the Rod Run. <laughs> so, we, uh, so that's our excuse yeah. for having a banana <laughs> 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 yeah, we, a, I mean, we were we were at the rug run for a couple hours and uh, walking around. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this was absolutely delicious. Yeah, I just like, I mean, I thought the staff and everything was really good at the. Yeah, at this they restaurant. were really busy, but they were serving yeah. pretty quick, mm -hmm. so it was nice that you mm -hmm. didn't we. At least to me, it didn't feel like we waited too long to get our food. And it was nice reading the news, the menu, the mm -hmm. newspaper menu while yeah. we were waiting, reading, catching up on some yeah. fun facts. And of facts. course, listening to the fantastic music that they were playing. Yes. Here you're trying out the pineapple. <laughs> yeah, the pineapple had a little, a a little tart a little or something, tart. you know, that, <laughs> like, whoa, wasn't expecting that. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Love the strawberries that were in here. Mm -hmm. And here is our waitress. Hi, cool cats! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You did a wonderful job serving us. And here is the parking that we wanted to show you. There's lots of parking on the side, so don't worry about, you know, if, if it looks super busy, just turn to the right when you come in, and there's lots more spaces for you to park at. But we had a really great meal at the Sunliner in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We recommend this restaurant if you're in the area and you're in the mood to go in and listen yep. to some really cool 1950s, mm -hmm. 60s music while you're eating. Mm -hmm. The service was excellent. Uh, the staff's very friendly. And uh, we even got to chat a little bit with one of the managers, Kyle, came over and checked on us and was asking if everything was okay. Yes, it was. We had a, mm -hmm. a really great time. Thank you, Kyle. Um, but thank you so much for watching and our videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It sure does help us to grow our channel. And here's a look at more visitors. All the visitors people going into the Rod Run. <laughs> riding for the Rod Run. So it's, yeah. it's definitely a festive yeah. weekend. Yeah. It's going to be a busy weekend, folks. Fu yeah, fun to be had. So thanks yeah. for joining us. We hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.